What up, everybody? My name's Impractical, and welcome back to Sonic Speed Simulator. Today, we're here in the Chow Garden. That's right, we're gonna go check out the brand new event Chows that are here today. Now, according to some of the players, it seems to be a big nerf for these event Chows, and I have no idea what they're talking about. So we're gonna see for ourselves- Just as I thought, I'll take Shout care out. of it. Shout out- Witness the might Whoa, of my Shout power! <laughs> Okay, well, we went for Gun to arrive to deal with Shadow. How about we just go over what event Charles are for our new and existing players in Sonic Speed Simulator? Event Chow are what I consider to be the best Chow to obtain in the game. A Chow that can help you complete weekly events in record time and a complete game changer. This is a Chow that both free to play and pay to win players should have in their account if they hope to complete the harder and more challenging weekly events. Now, there have been a number of Event Chow introduced to the game, some ranging from low bonuses to others giving you the highest possible bonus in game. And there are some that are higher in rarity as they have never returned in the game since its initial release. Now the three main actively traded or sought after event chows are Kunichi Amy Chow, Detective Tails Chow, and the Moonstone Chow. Kunichi Amy Chow being a very highly sought out chow for its rarity. Now this chow can be traded for as low as 80,000 red star rings to as high as 100,000 red star rings just for one unfused chow. Now, it's insane when you compare it to the more easily obtainable ones. Moonstone and Detective Tails Child both sell for around about 5,000 red star rings for one unfuse and 25 to 30,000 red star rings for one fuse. Now, these two are high in circulation, being obtainable through the legendary spinner, but still expensive due to the fact that they have the highest possible events that you can get in game. At first glance, Event Chow aren't as strong as they used to be. In fact, many players saw the changes as a nerf initially. Previously, an Event Chow went from a plus 5 as a solid cap, unfused or fused. The stat wouldn't go higher even if you fused your Chows together. Now with the current update, you can go as high as a plus 10 when fused. On the lower left side of your screen, you will notice an event stat applied to your account once you equipped an Event Chow. That stat will appear as a decimal till it reaches a whole number. Once it does, that is when the effect is applied. I.e. a plus 5 event stat equals a 0.5 and a plus 10 equals a 1 event stat. The max you can currently get in the game is a plus 5 applied to your account. Basically, all you will need is 5 max infused detective tails chow or equal. The other thing to note is the bonus rounds down it does not round up meaning if you have a bonus as a 2.5 that will only get you a bonus of two applied to your account and no more now let's go to no place for further testing just to show you about why everyone thought initially it was a nerf now on screen you are going to see some old footage on the left side and new footage on the right side this is to show a side by side comparison from pre to current update of the game when it comes to the event stat. Now, back then we used to see that with a team of plus five, we used to get around 75 doubloons in no place. That's right, every doubloon you picked up would equal 75, which made the grind a lot easier for the event. Now, currently in the game, with a team of plus 10, because plus 10 is the new max now for event stat, instead we get a six for every one the bloom we pick up. Yeah. Worthless consumer models. So yeah, it's sad to see the change off compared to how it was before, especially with the no place collecting the bloom quest. But the trade-off is so much worth it. I'm being serious. Before we used to wonder in legacy, it used to be okay, event shouts work for every event coming out. Now, when Reborn came out, we had to play a guessing game and find out which event quest will actually work with the event child. But now, with this current update, event childs work for every single event quest. We're talking destroy magnets, sky rings, we're talking tricks, we're talking 
uh boost we're talking even collecting chaos orbs they work for everything so much so if you have a full team of plus 10 event child getting that plus five event bonus guess what you're gonna get six of everything so every time you perform one you'll be getting six and that's the best thing about it because now it's not a guessing game we now know a hundred percent it works The best advice I can give when it comes to these event childs is that you shouldn't stress on getting the max possible stat bonus. Yes, it is an ideal goal, but stressing over it, selling your entire inventory, trying to get rid of everything you have just to get those will not make or break your account. Yes, it does speed up progression when it comes to these events, and yes, it will make you know certain events, especially those long grind ones, a little bit easier. But we're only talking about a simple addition. If we look at the facts, other enchantments have better benefits when it comes to long terms in your account. For example, Magnet is a great choice for free-to-play players to focus on. It actually has a wide benefits to your account especially in the long grind for you to get those rebirth points now for uh pay to win players of course they probably have magnet pass they don't need that they want to max out their account with every stat pay to win event childs will be something they will highly focus on but for free to play players it's not something that should be stressed on currently in game the only accessible event childs to free to play players are either on podiums legendary spinners or from cyber station in the vending machine and that one particularly the red hero chow is not really a strong chow we're talking it having at most a plus three unfuse and a plus six fuse meaning is for a free to play player if you have all three of those equipped in your pet slots guess what you're only getting yourself around a 18 event bonus which equals about a 1.8 and again don't forget it rounds down so that means you're only getting a plus one event bonus for a red hero child which is again pretty sad especially for the free-to-play players where the heck are our Activate reinforcements chaos blast now that's not to say all hope is lost for the free-to-play community you can still work on making trades to fill in the gaps and get yourself at least a plus two event bonus plus three will cost an arm and a leg and some probably rare skins you don't want to trade but you probably will find people out there who are willing to bargain with you for those specific skins or chows you may have in your inventory again it all comes down to what you have to offer on the table for these chows in lieu of red star rings because i know a lot of free to play players are not drowning in red star rings currently now for my pay to win players you guys are probably drowning in red star rings you can go the miles the distance and afford everything but not every pay to win player is equal to each other they, we have ourselves the billionaire club millionaire club for red star rings and we have ourselves those who bought it all but are still broke compared to the higher tier folks up there now again red star rings are the main traded currency for these special event childs that you guys have been seeing on screen but it is going to be a big struggle especially to get a full team of plus 10 event childs and if you really want to get spicy with it and you want to go after the kunichi amy child well kunichi amy child my bad for the mispronunciation it's gonna get even more expensive, okay? And that's not it. She's not the only chow out there that's rare or hardly sought after. There's even a Valentine chow, which is, again, has plus 10 for the event stat when fused, but it is also a considered a rare chow because it's not in circulation currently. But again, the two cheaper options out there are both Detected Tales and Moonstone chow. You can get the armor chow, I mean the samurai chow, not the armor sorry about that but you can get the samurai chow and it will probably be cheaper than the moonstone but it still will only leave you with a plus eight when it's fused and not worth it might as well pay up the extra red star rings to get yourself a detected tales or a moonstone child about wraps it up for this video a big shout out to meadow from the sonic speed simulator discord he helped me out so much when it came to making this video by lending me these event childs i do appreciate it i, I i'm gonna be honest some people saw me getting a, a pretty whaley when it came to the legendary spinner and uh, those odds were not favorable at all it was getting pretty sad so i appreciate you thank you so much for lending me those childs you have been a great help for this video 
And as for my absence, don't worry, I am back to making videos. I'm just working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes for the channel, and I can't wait to share it with you guys once it's fully ready to be shared. Uh, I do hope that I can come back to uploading regularly, and I really should stop these side projects so I can focus more on uploading and creating content for you guys. And that's about it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.